How can I do this? How can I leave my family? Matter of fact, Abraham had no idea what his future was going to look like. But the thing is, because of his faith, God blessed him abundantly and made him father of all nations. The thing is, as humans, we see for the moment. But the God, our Lord Jesus Christ, he sees everything. Right. He sees your future. Right. So if he tells you to do something, you better do it. Amen. Even though you don't see the future, even though you don't have proof, if Jesus tells you, just believe it. Amen. John 20, verse 29 says, Jesus said unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. So if you have faith, you will be blessed. Our faith makes us sure that everything God promises in his word is as good as done. In the New Testament, we can see Jesus telling his disciples to have faith. When Jesus came to Bethany, when he was hungry, he saw a fig tree without any fruit. So he curses this tree. The Bible said, And Jesus answered and said unto it, No man eat fruit of thee hereafter forever. And his disciples heard it. So when they were returning the next day, when they passed by the fig tree, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. And yeah. Peter calling to remembrance said unto him, Master, behold, the fig tree which thou cursest is withered away. And Jesus answering said unto them, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he said. Amen. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Amen. We can see Jesus talking to his disciples in parables. He said, have faith as small as a mustard seed. Yeah. Have you seen a mustard seed? It's really small. Yeah. You can barely see. God knew. He didn't ask for us to have faith like a rock or like a giant tree or like something big. He said just have faith of a mustard seed. So he wants like a little bit of small faith. Something very small. But the thing is, in Sri Lanka, we have those mustard trees. Even though mustard seed, seed is really small, those trees are huge. The thing is, if we have a little bit of faith, yeah. we can do something huge. Yeah. Our little bit of faith can turn it into something really big. Yeah. Come on. Not only Jesus taught his disciples to have faith, Jesus gave the greatest example of faith from his own life. Jesus came to the earth as God in flesh. John 1 verses 1 to 3 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was anything made that was made. These are Jesus' words. In John chapter 5 verses 30 says, I can of mine own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just. Yeah. Because I seek not mine own will, but the will of the Father which hath sent me. Jesus said, I seek not mine own will, but the will of the Father which hath sent me. When Jesus was praying in Gethsemane, just before he was crucified, Matthew 26 verse 37 says, And he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, and began to sorrowful and very heavy. Then said he unto them, My soul is exceeding sorrowful. Even unto death tarry ye here, and watch with me. And he went a little further, and fell on his face, 
and prayed, saying, O oh my Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. He went away again the second time, and he prayed again, saying, O oh my Father, if this cup may not pass away from me, except I drink it, thy will be done. When Jesus first prayed, he, when he prayed, he was hoping that God could make another way or a solution for salvation of man besides the horrible way of him dying on the cross or the crucifixion. But he realized that if he realized it had to be done God's way, his father's will. Right. Jesus said, your will be done. He didn't say, my will be done. He said, your will be done. Jesus realized that God the Father knew what was best and he had to have faith in God and do the Father's will. Right. If you want to please God, you have to have faith no matter what. Right. Not only it will please God, when you put your faith in Him, God can restore you. Your faith will make you whole. In Matthew chapter 9, when the woman with the blood issue, when he came to Jesus, she had so much faith. He had faith. She had faith. She thought, if I can just touch the garment of Jesus, I can be healed. Her faith in Jesus gave her what she wanted. Jesus said, daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith had made thee whole. And the woman was made whole from that hour. Yes. In the same chapter, if you go a few verses down, you can see, and when Jesus departed thence, two blind men followed him, crying and saying, Thou son of David, have mercy on us. Yes. And when he was come into the house, the blind men came to him. And Jesus said unto them, Believe ye that I am able to do this. They said unto him, Ya yeah, Lord. Then touch he their eyes saying according to your faith be it unto you and their eyes were open in another story the in the new testament in matthew the father of the little girl the little girl just died but the father said he went to jesus and said just say a word so my daughter will be here so he had so much faith then jesus said your, your faith will heal her. So the daughter was healed. Look at, the, look at another story about the four friends who brought the crippled guy to Jesus. And they kept, come unto him bringing one sick of the palsy, which was born of four. And when they could not come nigh unto him for the press, they uncovered the roof where he was. And when they had broken it up, they let down the bed wherein the sick That's of the palsy lay. When Jesus saw their faith, he said unto the sick of palsy, Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. The place was so crowded. The friends, they, the four friends, they couldn't got, get close to Jesus through right. the door. Right. That's the word. But the thing is, they didn't give up. Right. Right. The thing is, they didn't give up. Their faith made them to bring the sick guy through the roof. Yeah. If, we can, if we can't go through the door, we are going to go through the roof. Yeah. The four friends didn't give up because of what they had to face. Yeah. They didn't give up their faith because of the massive crowd. They didn't give up or they didn't care about their what, what circumstances was. That's right. They didn't care about their surroundings That's right. they thought we gotta do it yes come on they had